Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the Mother's House Podcast, and I am Deshaun. What's going on? This is Corey. Peace to the family. What up with my cousins? Chilling, my auntie, chilling, my, chilling, my, my, my whole family. What up with y'all? What up, cuz? I'm great. What's up? Tell them, man. Uh, so, Jay-Z and Rock Nation and, and what is they called? The uh, Capital. First round capital invests $3 million in the Bell Reform Startup Promise. Right, right, right. So, Deshaun, give them a rundown about this new headline of what Jay-Z is trying to do with the, um, against the bail reform, for the bail reform. Okay, well, Promise is a decarceration startup, and they basically focus on uh, keeping people out of jail and getting bail money and certain programs in place for people to stay out of jail. That's what they focus on, and um, they just raised over $3 million in the round, led by First Round Capital, and it also had Jay-Z, Rock Nation, and HBC, and Capper Capital. So it's like a group of people, well, a group of companies that kind of pledged $3 million towards this startup company that's geared towards, you know, kind of helping, what's it called? Um, in, some type of reform, bail reform. Right. Because, you know, a lot of people who are in bail can't afford to get out and they're in ba- they're in jail on a nonviolent offenses. Right. So, yeah, right. So, that's a good thing. So, you know, a lot of people just be in jail for stupid shit. Y'all know a lot of people be in jail for stupid shit. Oh, shout out to my homeboy who just got out of jail from this, from, you know, from bail. Um, they 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 not hold his bail and everything, and he finally like beat the case, you know. So he's back home with for a nonviolent offense, but he, he's good now. He's home now. So shout out to him. Um, not gonna put his name out there, but still at the same time, a lot of people go to jail for nonviolent offenses. If you look at you know, it's there's a lot of Khalif Brothers out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? In America, locked up in prison. It's a lot of uh, meat meals <laughs> in prisons right now. You know what I mean. So you know the bail system is a it's a way to keep one to keep money generated. It's like a billion dollar, nine billion dollar type of thing to keep people incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely paying some people's salaries just off of people being in jail. Like entire systems are being created off of people being in jail. Entire economies. Right, right. Jay Z made a statement. He says, We are increasingly alarmed by the injustice in our criminal justice system. Money, time, and lives are wasted with current policies. It's time for an innovative and progressive technology that offers sustainable solutions to tough problems. Promise Team, led by co founder and CEO Phaedra Ellis Lampkins, is building an app that can help provide liberty and justice for all two millions mm. you know so <clears throat> that's pretty much their goal that's what they're trying to do with the promise app um it, it's it's basically an app that try to push you know um you know trying trying to build up you know revenue and, and, and money up so 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 to push against the you know the bail bonds and push against these high bail fees that a lot of black and brown women, men and women, find themselves in. Mostly black men, you know. Um, it, 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 it constantly, it, this is the thing, man. A lot of people like to ignore or, or get comfortable because, you know, you could not be doing anything wrong and still go to be locked up. You could, you know, have like exceeding amount of, of, of parking tickets and you end up going to jail and can't pay the bail. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's one of those situations where, you know, you ain't really got to do nothing really serious crime and still be just sitting in jail because you can't pay pay out. Like, you look at Sonda Bland. When Sonda Bland was locked up for, like, over the weekend and she couldn't get the money up to get herself out because the bail was so damn high for something, a bullshit charge. Right. It happens all the time, you know what I mean? So, you know, you can't. I, I ain't gonna snoop my nose, but do you think Jay Z should have paid more? He should have put. He could have put more money behind it. Um, I mean, yeah. Like, I don't. 
Because three million dollars is not a lot of money. And then it's a combined three million from like three different companies. So he could have only invested like five hundred thousand for all we know. And then it's like, is it just like you know how people do stuff? Like really rich people, they just kind of do stuff to like write it off uh-huh. with their taxes. So it could be looked at as that too. So we could kind of be a little bit critical of Jay Z, especially with him just coming out in fours being worth like nine hundred million dollars. So you know, we we could be a little bit more critical and say he could he could give more. But um, then again, I don't know, you know, to play both sides. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Promise needs, you know, how much money do they need? You know, maybe they only needed $3 million. Yeah, yeah. But, um, he, I don't know, when you just hear somebody worth $900 million, it's like, motherfucker, you didn't do a whole lot of shit. But who's to say, Jay, you don't know where his money at, you don't know what it's tied up with. You should have put what? Put up like $100 million, that would have been an okay amount. That's a lot. Okay, so what been an okay amount? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know money like that, especially that much money. But I, I would say that who's to say that his money isn't tied up in different places? Because just because you're worth nine hundred million doesn't mean you have nine hundred million liquid. So ain't no telling where his money is tied up in as well. And he probably has to be responsible and not just be throwing money here, there, and everywhere. So uh, at the end of the day, you know. It seems to be a good gesture, you know. I could pick it apart, but I'm not. I'm gonna just take it for what it is, you know. It's it's a good thing. So it is a good thing. I mean, it one is bring one one thing, and if not anything else, it bring an awareness to the problem. You know what I'm saying? Him doing the documentary about Khalif Brown, and also doing another documentary about um, uh, uh, Trayvon Martin. You know what I'm saying? You know. He, Jay Z is putting his 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 money. He's not he's not being out here, you know, uh, uh, just sitting on ideas and thoughts on on the situation and being quiet about it. He has to speak it out and speaking up for it. So it's also bringing a light to a lot of people who don't necessarily pay that attention. Because like I said, a lot of people don't really be noticing what's going on with the bells and how people be getting locked up and just be sitting in there. A lot of people don't know they get they they ban a lot of books in prison. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, it's maybe just give pe- more people more aware and more, and also may put more people to be take more a little bit more action. Donate the promise. Donate to these these organizations that's really fighting for the freedom of these young black men or uh, and black women. You know, right? And um, yeah, just so it's bigger. This is the thing. It's bigger than how much is he making and how much he put into it. Right. Right. So. Um... And just to go back to what we said in prior podcasts, you can't depend on celebrities for everything. Celebrities can't save the uh, world. Like, they're just not going to. It's, that's just not how it's going to happen. So, you know. It's not real. But, yeah. Right. When a person is doing something, and it does seem like Jay Z has a valid interest, you know, a sincere interest in, you know, helping black men stay out of jail and prison reform and, you know, just helping the, helping the culture. It seems like him and Diddy have kind of turn a new leaf and you know they're starting to become more on the other side of things as far as just being a little bit more involved you know being almost like activists in a way yeah in their own way you know what I'm saying from their status they may not be doing it how you want them to do it but you know they're doing something and all you can do is hope and pray that it's sincere you know you'll never know the whole story whatever that may be but you know from where I sit it seems like it's a cool thing so you know it kind of do. I can pick it apart, but I'm not. So whatever. I mean, you can pick anything apart. The, 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 like we said in our last podcast, you know, you got to If somebody's trying to do something for black people, and and, and not only that, they they not only just because they're black, you got to kind of somewhat give them a chance. But you just gotta, you know, you can't be so quick to shit on an idea. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's gonna help you out. Now. We can pick it apart and pay attention and see where it's going and how they're doing and how things are being moved and what's really the also go the goal here. You know what I mean? Now you gotta pay attention and ask questions. You gotta have the the, the willingness to ask questions. Critical, you know, questionable. Somebody may 
jump down your throat for asking a question, but yeah, you definitely should ask questions. Um, even if you feel like, oh, well, that don't sound right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Now, he could have put up a little bit more, but why don't they put more money into black colleges? And why don't they do this? And why don't they do that? Why we focus on this? You know, but like I said, man, him and Beyonce has been quietly putting money, you know, towards black men. Man, right, and that's you know another thing. Black you don't know what people are doing behind the scenes, too. Like, this made it to the headlines, but you don't know how much he invested behind the scenes. So it's like, it's hard to judge too hard when it's, um, when you don't have enough information. You don't know everything. And I think that's the smart. That's how, you know, if someone could not should be, but I think that's how, um, a lot of things get done when you do things when it's not so much out there in everybody's face because, you know, you have it out there so much, somebody gonna try to block it. So that's why you kind of do it, you know, just start to get the ball rolling then you can bring out, hey, I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, shout out to Jay-Z. We always shout out to Diddy, you know. Um, any last thoughts on this, um, Deshaun? Uh, no, um, just, you know, shout out to both of them. I'm sure they know what they're doing way more than I'm just a little dude on the podcast, so I'm sure they know this game a lot better than I do. So you know, big ups to them and for the culture. Yeah, it's for the culture. Not only that, for the people. Um, it made me want to put more, do more study on the bell and the mass incarceration. Um, shout out to Michelle Alexander for opening up a lot of people's eyes to this issue. You know, um, shout out to uh, Ava DuVernay for the 13th because that put a lot of limelight on it. And even Jay Z, uh, Khalif Prater documentary that put a lot of light on these issues. Um, I think it's finally being trying to brush to the side, and while we focus on uh, uh, Bruno Mars cultural appropriation or something else, but right now, you know, <clears throat> I think it's a good thing. It's something we should all pay attention to and see where this goes. You know what I'm saying? Or put some either put support behind it or just you know. See what mistakes you see in it and try to see what you can do behind it. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep building, man. For sure. Um, with that being said, hit that like button, hit that comment button. Let us know what y'all feel about this news in the comment section. And uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Peace. I will not raise my daughter differently than my mother raised me. The rearing I got from my mother words cannot express. I could live in any time, I could live in any country, I could live on any planet and I would be fine. What was the key? The key. What did your mother know? <sighs> what truth was coming through your mother that's mm. going to come through you to your daughter? My mother gave us aphorisms to learn as children and the one that I, there are two that stand out foremost in my mind. One is the inner reality creates the outer form. I learned this when I was in grade school, I was very young. And the other is, the universe bears no ill to me, I bear no ill to